Hello AACPS teachers. In this short video tutorial, we're going to talk about some tips for success when creating a Google site to communicate with students and parents. So two ways to help you ensure success is to learn how to view your Google site as a guest and then also to create a folder for all of the resources that you're going to put on your site and then set the sharing permissions for that folder. So let's get out of the presentation and let's go take a look at each of these different uh, tips that we're suggesting and when you would use them. So here I have a sample teacher website that I am creating for my families. And what I've added here underneath of the banner that says welcome to Ms. Brown's website is just a Bitmoji classroom that I'm building. And right now everything looks good to me, but I am the owner and creator of the website and the owner and creator of the Google Slides file. And one of the issues that happens often for our teachers is that when they publish a website and they share it with students or parents, they get reports back that people don't have access to all of the resources. So before you share this site with your parents, I'm gonna show you guys a way to view it as a guest so that you can see if it is truly fully accessible to them. Can they see all of the resources here? So the first step to this is you do wanna make sure that your site is published. So I have already clicked the publish button on my website. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the drop down in the upper right here next to publish, and I'm gonna view my published site. So I'm still viewing the site as me. I am still logged in to Tracy Brown's AACPS account. So now what I want to do is I want to copy the link to this published site. So I'm clicking up here in the URL and I'm going to do control C and I want to get out of my login. And the way to do that is to click on my profile icon in the upper right and I wanna browse as a guest. So I'm gonna choose this guest option down here. So now I am not logged in as anybody. I don't have an AACPS Google account. I don't have a Gmail. I am nobody according to Google. So I'm gonna paste in that site that I just copied and click enter. Everything that I see now is what my parents or my students would see regardless of what kind of Google account they may or may not have. And I can see right away that on my welcome page here, I'm getting this little gray sad face and it says that uh, Google has refused to connect. And what this tells me is that this file is not currently shared or set up in a way that guests can view it. So even though everything looked good to me when I was viewing my website in the editing window, I have not set up all the permissions correctly so that my family can view this. So I'm gonna go back over to Tracy Brown's account and one way that I could share this is right here in this Bitmoji classroom file. I can go to share and I can change the link, but that's not going to be the most efficient way for you to make sure that all of your resources are shared. So that brings us to the second item. We recommend that you put all of your resources that are going to go on your website into a folder and then set the permissions on the entire folder to anyone with the link. That way, all resources that you put into that parent folder will take on those permissions except for your forms. So we'll talk about forms in just a moment, but let's get out of here and let's take a look at exactly that scenario that I am proposing. So if I come over here to my Google Drive and I create a new folder, and I'm just going to name this folder, this is for my teacher website, and click Create. So now here's my brand new folder highlighted in blue. So I'm going to come up to my share option for the entire folder. And I'm going to choose right here where it says it's currently for AACPS. I'm going to set it to anyone with the link. And that means that no matter what kind of account they do or don't have, they'll be able to access these things. And I'm going to click done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that Bitmoji classroom 
a file into this folder and you'll see how it'll take on the permissions of the folder. So here I am back in my Bitmoji classroom and I'm going to choose this little move folder option here and I'm going to move it into that folder I just created called resources for my teacher website and choose move. And so now, even though I didn't open the share menu for this and change the permissions, you'll see that those permissions are in fact changed because they've taken on the permission set for the folder itself. So that way I don't have to remember every single time I create a new resource and put it on my website to keep clicking on share and changing those permissions. They're changed automatically. So now if I go back out to where I'm viewing my site as a guest and I refresh this, Boom, that Bitmoji Classroom now loads for the parents that are viewing my site. Now, I mentioned a moment ago, this works for everything except forms. So let's come back and let's talk a little bit more about forms. Right here, I have a form for parents to contact me and let me know if they'd like to schedule a meeting with me. So I'm going to put that form into that same resources for my teacher website um, folder that I just created so that I can show you guys how it doesn't take on the same permissions and we'll talk about why. So here I'm finding that form and I'm going to do the move and I'm going to again put it into that same folder. All right, so moving that into this folder here. So now if I go back to where I'm viewing my website as a guest, I have a second page here on this website where I have put in my Google form. But you can see I'm getting that same gray sad face. So even though I moved the form into the correct folder with the sharing permissions, it did not immediately take on those same sharing permissions. And that's because, as I said a moment ago, forms are a little bit different. So what I need to do to make sure that my parents can view this form is open the form, go up to settings, and then I need to turn off this default setting that always restricts forms inside of AACPS. That's what's going to ensure that parents can view the form, not just putting it into a folder, but turning off this checkbox and clicking save. And then once again, let's go back to where we're viewing my site as a guest. If I refresh one more time, that form now loads for my parents. So if it is any other type of Google file, put it in the folder that has the sharing permissions, anyone with the link, everybody will be able to view it. For forms, you're simply going to want to open the form and turn off the AACPS setting. Thank you so much for watching this short video brought to you by the Office of Instructional Technology. Please follow us on Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.